Okay, so here we're going to be talking about how the government of ancient Athens was structured. So the first thing we have is the assembly. That's the big, big, huge group. And from that assembly we get the Council of 500. Yes, it does sound like a huge action movie. Yep, five people times 100. 500. And we also get the court. Do what's right! Alright, let's make decisions. Athenian style. Okay, so how were citizens given opportunities to participate? Participate is the key word in decision making. This is all ancient Athens. So again, we're starting with the assembly. That's the big group. They met on the Pinnix, which you saw in the very first picture. They had 40 meetings per year. That's every 8 to 10 days. There had to be at least 6,000 members in attendance for a vote. Imagine how long that would take. This is an example of direct democracy, or when citizens vote directly on issues. That lone guy says, I vote for a new playground! The other thing the assembly would take in was different types of qualms or quandaries. So whether or not someone wanted to go to war or if someone wanted to be considered a citizen, which you'll learn more about in the status section. But the assembly would look at big or small issues and anyone could speak. Did you hear that joke the other day? Voting was done by hand. Could you imagine doing that with 6,000 members? <laughs> or by stones. So they would have a jar, a bin, something, and they would put stones in. Now the Council of 500. Every member of the Council of 500 served a one-year term, and all of the people were split into ten tribes, and people were given the jobs from there through a lottery system. So you won your one-year job. Won your one-year job. And you could only be chosen twice for the job. You know, to be more fair, more people get a shot. Now, all those little dots represent assembly members, and at the very top, you have the chairman, who is also given his job through a lottery. And he holds that job for a whopping 24 hours. That's it. Finally, we come to the courts. And my attempted drawing of a gavel. The stick that a judge holds. It looks more like Thor's hammer. Anyway, in the courts you have the magistrates, or officers. The people who carry out the jobs of the court. They, just like the Council of 500, also get their job through a lottery system for a one-year term. Now the Madrid streets could either make decisions on their own, or they could send any sort of problem into a trial. And in ancient Greece, the trial could have between 501 and 1500 jury members. You can understand why I didn't draw all of those heads. Now, women could be defendants in a trial, but they weren't allowed to speak for themselves. They had to have a man do it for them. Now, most often, defendants in a trial could speak for themselves, and most often they did. But for those few who were wealthy enough, they could have someone speak for them. So if someone was known for speaking well, they would hire them to help them win their case. I speak good. People listen. 